Hello again gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Captain, and today I'm going to be reviewing and talking about the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box. So to start with, I want to give a big thank you to Paizo for sending me this copy of the Beginner Box to check out and review and talk about. Thank you, Paizo. Also, I want to say that if you're in a position to and you'd like to help out the channel, there is a link to my Patreon in the description down below. There you can get access to some videos early, as well as behind the scenes videos, and also the ability to request review and tutorials to your favorite classic games. Uh, in addition, if you'd like to get yourself some cool gamer gear, t-shirts or mugs, there is a link to my Teespring store in the description below where there's lots of cool gamer gear that you can purchase. All right. So now, the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box is listed as being done by Logan Bonner, Jason Bullman, uh, Liz Liddell, and Mark S Sifter? Sif Sifter? Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that correctly. I'm just going to show all the names to you real quick. Uh, and again, it was published by Paizo. Now, it is listed as being for two to five players, ages 13 and up, and the time is 60 minutes. So I'm going to start there. Um, now, the two to five players, I'm going to say technically yes, but I really feel like it should be more like three to five. Uh, I always feel like you want to have at least... Uh, two player characters along with a game master in most role-playing games this one is not really any exception technically yes you can do solo adventures but i'm you know your mileage may vary My, i'm a little iffy with those i'm not a huge fan of them other people i have heard like them so technically yes two to five is right ages 13 and up is pretty good there's a uh the rule system in pathfinder is a little bit more advanced than some other uh basic role-playing systems so you may want uh the kids that you're teaching, if you're teaching kids to be a little bit older. 60 minutes, sure, you can make 60 minute games. I would say your average game of Pathfinder is going to be a couple of hours, uh, at least two, if not, you know, longer. But um, yeah, you could run a 60 minute game of this. I just don't think that's a, a good time estimate for all games of Pathfinder. All right, I want to read the back of the box before I move on and talk about the contents here. So, Pathfinder Beginner Box. Become a hero. Leave the ordinary behind and take your first step into a world of amazing fantasy adventure with the Pathfinder Beginner Box. This box contains everything you need to learn how to play the Pathfinder role-playing game, including rules to create your own fantasy hero and tools to tell your own incredible stories. Will you be a courageous fighter? Charging headfirst into battle, or a sly rogue, moving quietly to strike at foes from the shadows. Maybe you'll be a knowledgeable wizard, wielding incredible arcane spells, or a wise and pious cleric, using the power of your deity to shape the world for the better. It's all up to you. This box set is the perfect introduction to the world of Pathfinder, containing countless hours of thrilling adventure. This box includes a 72-page Hero's Handbook, which presents the rules for playing the game and creating characters, including their skills, spells, and gear. An 88-page Game Master's Guide, containing an introductory adventure, over 20 pages of monsters, rules for building your own adventure, and dozens of wondrous magic items. Four pre-made heroes, so you can jump right into the action. And six blank character sheets for creating your own characters from scratch. Over a hundred characters and monster pawns for use on the full-color, double-sided adventure map. Four game reference cards to help players remember their actions. A complete set of polyhedral dice, including a D10, D12, D20, D8, D6, and D4. Okay, so first off, yes, all of that is in here, and I'm going to go over all of that. There's actually uh, a couple of extra things in here, too, believe it or not. So, uh, first, one of the extra things I want to reference, they have these, these tokens, which are kind of neat. 
Uh, these are action tokens, and I guess these are meant to be used to help players keep track of how many actions they've spent. So you can give players three action tokens and a reaction token, and as they spend them, they can put them down on the table to be like, oh, I've only got one action left, and I've, but I've still got my reaction I'm holding on to, etc. So those are kind of a little neat thing. Uh, they're not even mentioned on the back of the box, so it's a little extra thing. So the polyhedral dice we've got, uh, those are right here. Uh, it's a, a multicolor, completely usable set of polyhedrals um each one is a single solid color as you can see here um this is a good basic set of plastic polyhedrals to start with i expect every starter box set to come with these uh so yeah not a huge amount to talk about here like i say basic single color dice nothing amazing to rave about but these are these are serviceable uh next and this is this is pretty awesome it comes with a bunch of these pawn stands and a bunch of pawns of various monsters and player characters that you can use. Uh, for instance, here's a couple of archetypical player characters. But there's actually a ton of these that are usable as, as player characters of lots of the various varieties that you can make in this set. Or if you're not using those particulars as player characters, they could be used as NPCs. There's also all the monsters that are in this book, both needed for the adventure that's that's in this box set, as well as just other monsters that are listed back there for if you want to make other adventures. Uh, these pawns, these monster pawns are great. The artwork on them is fantastic. They're full color. They're really nice. I'm a big fan of these. Uh, I have a, the big first bestiary pawns box set, which has these, but it's actually good to have extra. Uh, I do like having more than I got in that because there's some of those that you only have one or two of and sometimes you want an encounter with more goblins and there's more goblins in here and that's great uh now there's a little ad here that came in here it's just one of the contents so i figure i should reference it for siren escape for i guess they have a a, a, a offer for some free sounds and a free 30-day free trial uh this is one of those services to have uh, the sound effects playing while you're role playing with your group. Now, I personally use tabletop audio, which is completely free, uh, but this is a another one that's out there, and I guess they have some official Pathfinder content, so that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna throw that on the side for now. Uh, next, we have the cheat sheets. So the cheat sheets, uh, these player or as they call them player reference cards, reference conditions, and also things you can do with your actions. These are awesome, and I'm going to immediately start using them with my actual game I'm running of Pathfinder. I'm going to give these out to my players in the next game. I think these are fantastic. I really like that they included these. Okay, next we have the map. Um, now this map is specifically for, it's, it's two-sided, and it's specifically for the adventure that comes in this starter set. I'm going to show you both sides of the map because it's absolutely gorgeous. Paizo knows how to make maps. They make amazing maps for Pathfinder and for role-playing games in general, and I absolutely love them. This map is no exception. I love this map, even though I'm not going to be running the starter adventure because my players are already level five, and uh, this is like for a level one adventure. I'm going to use this map. I'm going to start using this map right away for uh, games that are dungeon crawls. This is a great set of rooms for dungeon crawls. I love this map. Okay, next we have uh, some pregens. Now the the it's a it's a starter box set, a beginner box set. So you know there are some limits to what kind of characters you can make in here. The pregens represent a good smattering of the sort of characters you can make in here. They have uh, Aaron the Wizard. He is a uh, typical human wizard each one of these as a character sheet is a fold out like pamphlet it has all their stats and then it has um a cheat sheet for all their abilities and also how all the stats work and everything as well as their storyline on the back we have kira the cleric we have mariseal the rogue and we have valeros the fighter so these are decent pre-gen characters for if you're going to use this set and you want to check out the system before um, before making your own characters. These are decent ones to use for that. Uh, they're not going to have a lot of uh, reuse value once you have gone off and are making your own characters because you're I mean you're a set you're not even going to really probably you be able to use these as enemies or NPCs because they're level one characters and once you're past say like level four level one characters are kind of a pushover for bad guys. 
uh, to use them as villains. So, so these have limited use, but these are really good for the intended purpose of the box, which is to just jump right into the game and learn to play with them. And for that, they're great. Then we also have here the uh, some some blank character sheets for making your own characters. These are two-sided and are, are pretty decent starting character sheets. If you like the format that they are, of course, you could Xerox these. They're full colors, uh, so you might want to color Xerox them. Uh, they're pretty nice. I have my own character sheet uh, format that I like for Pathfinder that one of my viewers actually recommended to me. Um, uh, I'm going to throw his name up here. And actually, you know what? Uh, I believe it was Data Lore. Was, was was the viewer of mine who recommended this character sheet to me. And I'm going to put a link to Data Lore's character sheets down below where you can print them out for free. Uh, he made a really good one that is like form fillable and awesome. Uh, love his character sheets. I highly recommend those. Okay. So now before I get into the books, there were a couple other things I wanted to throw out for you. This was on the top of the box when I opened it. And it said, read this first. What is Pathfinder? Pathfinder is a cooperative tabletop role-playing game also called an RPG, of fantasy adventure. Grab some friends to play the heroes in an adventuring party. Go on a quest. Explore mysterious environments. Battle dangerous monsters. Find treasure and tell a story together. And then it has a, if you're on your own, and it talks about the fact that there is a one-player a mini adventure to give you an idea of how a role-playing game works that's in the book. I'm going to talk about that when I'm talking about the contents of the two books that come in here in a moment. Uh, and then it says if you have a group and it talks about how you could either make your own characters or you can um, use the pre-gens and that there is a, a, a full adventure in here. Uh, on the back, it also has all of the contents. It tells you everything that comes in the Pathfinder beginner box. Then at the bottom, when you get to the bottom, it has uh, a Pathfinder Society, a world of adventure, exploration, and intrigue awaits. Join the Pathfinder Society today. And it also has a little advertisement on the back. Uh, the adventure continues, and it has uh, the core rulebook, the advanced player's guide, the bestiary, the game master's guide. Uh, uh, you know, which are all decent books. I actually have all of these, and they're all really, really good books. The core rulebook is the main one that is going to be the next stepping stone if you want to get further into Pathfinder. After you finish with the beginner box, you're going to want to get your hands on the core rulebook specifically. Okay, so now the last bits of material that are in here are the Beginner Game Box Game Master's Guide and the Beginner Game Box Hero's Handbook. In addition, both of them have some quick references on the back, which is pretty nice because these quick references um, do make these books have a purpose and a use beyond when you actually buy the core rulebook for Pathfinder, which is pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to start with the Beginner Box Hero Handbook. So when you open this up, the first thing you've got is uh, you've got a summary on character creation on the inside cover and the table of contents, and then you move into the Pirate King's Plunder. Now, the Pirate King's Plunder is a solo adventure for you to run as you're reading the book to get an idea of how role-playing games go. So now, uh, I'm familiar with, with them doing this because they did the same thing in their Starfinder beginner box, which I have already reviewed. Uh, it's done like a choose-your-own-adventure novel, except that when you get into combat, it also tells you how to do the combats and how to win, you know, record your damage and record the damage of your foes. Uh, but there's a bunch of different stuff you can do in here. I ran through this. It was really fun. It was a cool little intro. Uh, you have to fight some monsters and get some treasure. It's a, it's a, it's a quick little solo adventure dungeon crawl. Um, but really, really cool. Really well done. Uh, then we have an example of play. Again, to further help you understand exactly how a role-playing game goes. I like that these are in here because, again, this is aimed at people who have never played Pathfinder before and maybe never played uh, any role-playing game before and these are really going to help them understand exactly what it is to play a role-playing game. Then we have uh, the getting started section which is like an explanation of the basic concepts, dice, actions, bonuses and penalties, all those sort of things. Then we get into character creation. So they have a more restrictive version of character creation here. When I say more restrictive, what I'm, what I'm 
meaning by that is they don't have all of the heritages or classes available in the basic Pathfinder book. They uh, There are all quite a few heritages and um, classes available in the, in the basic books. So they really want to pare it down to a handful so that obviously they could keep the size of these books down and, and keep the cost down on the beginner box. So you've got three heritages available. You have Dwarf, Elf, and Human. And then uh, after the explanation of each of those, you have the backgrounds. Uh, there are a bunch of backgrounds in here available. Then you have the classes. You have uh, Cleric. You have the Fighter. You have the Rogue. And you have the Wizard. And that is it. And each of these classes are uh, with the basic box set, you're able to get up to level three with them. So it is very restricted. You can level up, but only twice. You can level up to level three with this starter set. Uh, it has all the spells and materials you'll need to get to level three. And you specifically can only make a character of those three heritages and of those four possible classes. So uh, you are limited to what you can do. But then they have a bunch of equipment and there's a pretty decent amount uh, on uh, adventuring gear and weapons in here. You've got uh, a lot of the rules on how to use skills and then basic rules for how to do checks and explore and playing the game in here, uh, daily preparations, resting, etc. how to take your turns, things you can do with actions, uh, how the templates work for, for spell effects or explosions, things like that. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a, it is a smaller version of the rules. Like I said, uh, similar to how it is more restrictive in your character choices. It's also more restrictive in the rules in general. Some of the more complicated or advanced concepts are not in here. Again, it's meant to be a beginner set, so that's fine. That's that's how it's meant to be. And they managed to, to, to get the rules down to 72 pages, which is amazing because it's fully playable at 72 pages when you're talking about the main rule book is hundreds of pages. Uh, all right. So once you're done looking through here, you should have a good idea how to play the game. Then we have the Game Master's Book. So what is the Game Master's Book? So first thing we have here is we have an adventure. Now the adventure is uh, the Menace Under Otari. Uh, this is a basic adventure that I am not going to spoil for you because I think this is a really fun little dungeon crawl. Uh, but suffice to say, you get hired to take care of some monsters that have broken into somebody's basement and are eating their supplies. And uh, that's that's the hook for the adventure. And it turns into a big dungeon crawl. And you get, you get puzzles, you get uh, some role play you get to do, and you get monsters to fight and loot to get. And that's really cool. The artwork in here is really awesome. The adventure seems like a lot of fun. I would enjoy playing this as a level one character. And I would enjoy running this four level one characters as a game master so i quite like it now once you get past the adventure uh you wind up getting into how to game master they go over how to set challenge ratings how to run encounters how to create your own counters which this is really cool since it, it only has one adventure in here and yet the rest of the rules will allow you to take your players up to level three you're probably going to need to come up with two more adventures to do that and that's kind of important so it goes over how do you do that uh, how do you set difficulty classes how do you create your own adventures it has lots of recommendations on how to set rewards you know treasure things like that also all sorts of environmental effects aquatic arctic desert mountain forest plain swamp etc underground uh climate effects um lots of things that Players won't need to know, but you as Game Master are going to need to know how to set up hazards and traps and, and give people experience for them. And then there's actually a bunch of magic items in here. Uh, a fairly good smattering of uh, one-use and multi-use magic items. Uh, you have magic weapons, you have potions, you have wands and scrolls in here. Uh, lots of stuff that you can give as uh, rewards to your characters. And then there's a mini bestiary in the back with a bunch of different creatures, all with their own artwork in there uh these are really cool really well done and these are a good smattering of creatures that going from level one to level three are going to be quite useful then behind the mini best area we have a full explanation of the town of otari uh all the major important npcs as well as shops and places of interest in the town of otari 
uh, followed by a bunch of important tables like setting difficulty classes and experience points for different kinds of encounters, etc. Um, yeah, so very well done. Very good paring down of the basic rules into these two small books. The Game Master's Guide, which includes the adventure in it, is a total of 88 pages. Uh, pretty decent. Okay, so for, now there's a couple things I want to talk about. So when I review these starter box sets or beginner box sets, uh, there's a couple different things that come into my mind for how good of a beginner's box it is. So first off, the first thing is, how good is this as a starting point to this role-playing game and role-playing in general? So, okay. So I want to talk about the fact that the price listed on the back of the box is $39.99. So it's 40 bucks, and you get a lot in here. And it really is enough to fully play the game to start with at least enough to play through a couple levels with some basic characters to find out if you like role playing or if you like this particular game pathfinder second edition enough that you might want to continue on and make more complicated characters and and really or maybe go on with your characters but just be able to advance on all the way to level 20. You've got the pawns, you've got a double-sided map, you've got rule books with all the rules, you've got character sheets, uh, you've got quick reference sheets. You've got enough to play, again, for level one to level three. So this is, yeah, as a starter point. Oh, and the dice, of course. I almost forgot. You've got the dice. As a starter point for a role-playing game, $40, which I believe is less expensive than the core rule book itself, just the one book. This is a very decent place to start with for role-playing. This is a fantastic place. I love the intro solo adventure in here, done like a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Really well done. I love the introductory multiplayer adventure in here uh, to help teach you how to game master while also teaching your players how to play this particular game. This is a great place for starting characters, definitely. And the price point at 40 bucks, it's not too bad. Um, very affordable for what you get, which is everything you need to play. So that, that's really good. Now, the second thing I always like to talk about is how much of this stuff are you going to keep using once you graduate on to the big rule books? Because, for instance, the main books in here, uh, especially like the Beginner's Box Game Master Guide, is going to have very limited or maybe not much at all reuse value. Uh, the adventure in here, once you're done with it, you could run it again for other beginning adventures or beginnings of other campaigns with other players. But generally speaking, you're not going to use it too much more. Uh, the cheat sheet on the back of the player uh, guide, the quick reference cheat sheet, is, is pretty usable. You could have this out on the table. But yeah, these books are going to have limited value once you move on to the bigger books. So what else in here uh, are you going to be able to reuse? So the dice. The dice are totally usable uh, to have out as a loaner set to your players until they get their own dice. Totally great. This is going to be reusable. These cheat sheets are going to be something you're going to want to reuse a lot. The pawns are going to be something you're going to reuse a lot. You're going to use these tons. The map is a fantastic, even though it's it's specifically for the adventure that's in here, this is a fantastic reusable map for a general dungeon and cave system. You're going to reuse this tons. This is fantastic. I love this map. Uh, the If you like the style of the character sheets that come in here, you can Xerox these and, and get a lot of use out of them. Um, otherwise, the other stuff is going to have a bit limited use. But generally speaking, considering obviously they didn't want this box set to be like over $100, which it probably would have to be if they had included the full core rulebook, this is kind of what uh, I was expecting to be at the upper end of the spectrum of possibility in regard, regard to reusable materials in here once you graduate on to the core rulebook. This is really decent. Most of this is reusable and most of this is really good and you're going to want to reuse it. Uh, the pawns in the map itself are are probably some of the biggest sellers for this for me, as well as, yeah, the, the quick reference sheets. I love these quick reference sheets. These are really cool. So, yeah, this is very reusable. Uh, this is, so, this is, this has a lot of reusable materials, and this is a really good place to start with for teaching people how to roleplay and how to play the game of Pathfinder 2nd Edition. So, all that being said, where am I at? with this beginner box as a beginner box for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I am going to give this 8.5 stars out of 10. This is a fantastic beginner box. It's a great place to start, and the vast majority of materials are things you are going to keep using even when you get the main book. Uh, there's a few things you might just stick in the box and not use. 
uh, the you know the pre-generated characters, uh, the the main books in here. You might not keep using even for the cheat sheets on the back because these little cheat sheets are so much better. But the cheat sheets, the pawns, and the map and the dice are totally going to stay out. And you might even decide to keep using these tokens as a, as an easy way to keep track of how many actions people have used or how many actions NPCs have used. So yeah, so there you have it. 8.5 stars out of 10. This box is great. If you're looking to try out Pathfinder 2nd Edition, but you don't want to commit to getting the more expensive box sets, and you're looking for a more affordable way to just jump in and try out the system, this is a great way to do that. And then later, if you like it, you graduate onto the core rules, and you get access to more classes. You get access to more heritages, and you get access all the way up to level 20 with your players. There you have it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns for this review on the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box, feel free to put them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this review of a role-playing game product and you'd like to see me do more like it, be sure to give it a like, share it on all forms of social media, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game on. Adventures. Are we going to have puppy bloopers? Oh. You got your tongue right in my mouth. Oh, you are crazy. Oh, we having a puppy blooper. Oh, we having a puppy blooper. Oh my goodness. What? What? Oh, you punched me right in the face. You're so excited. Why don't you get one of your toys there? I'll talk with you. Do you want to get one of your toys? Your lizard is right behind you. Grab the lizard. Go get him. Go get the lizard. Oh, now you got the lizard, huh? Are we gonna, are we gonna? We're gonna talk with the lizard. You got the lizard? This is your lizard? You gonna talk with the lizard? Oh yeah. Oh, you got the lizard. Oh, there's a lizard. You gonna talk with the lizard? Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. All right, you go play with the lizard, okay? I'm gonna finish my video.